Sorry about that, a phone call interrupted. Right, so I'm going to go down and uh, meet Jonathan, the co-leader of the Green Party. He's not that fast if he makes a speech or doesn't. He wants to talk to people, wants to talk to the police, wants to find out the real situation that's going on, why they brought uh, dogs in now, what condition the police are in when we read that Clive Grunshaw said the police are tired, they're doing 15-hour days. Well, if they're doing 15-hour days, do not give us stressed-out men who can be dangerous to us, who have not had enough sleep. So that's, that's just poor, that's dangerous. And if you talk about policing as if it's supposed to be about keeping a community safe, giving us stressed out, tired cops is not keeping us safe. This morning already, um, because, you know, hell, we're activists. What do you think we're gonna do? Just sit down and go away quietly. But we've hurt nobody ever. So we don't hurt people. And yet they brought in dogs and additional policing and all of this is aggressive. And it's not there for anything other than keeping Quadrilla's work going. It's certainly not for the safety of the community because we are no threat to this community. We are the community. Bonjour, I have Tom. He's very tall and he's walking with me. On our way up, I just mentioned on the first live stream before I cut out, um, we got stopped, our car um, searched by six officers who surrounded us. We were pulled over in this busy lane. My sister was driving. We had Anne with us who's 85 and a half, and uh, we were giving her a lift up the hill because she had a heavy banner uh, this morning because Jonathan Bartley's coming, she was putting up a Green Party display. Uh, when they put us out down behind where the island is up ahead, uh, sort of further down the hill, that's where they pulled us over. We then Anne had to get out and walk because she was going to be running late. All right, love. Morning. Morning. Nice did it yeah. do it again in two weeks yeah it was a good day uh yes dave you've not seen the live streams or caught up uh sorry i'm walking on a boring bit of road but i want to walk down and meet jonathan um because everyone's being seems to be being stopped on the road now i don't know when stop and search happened um they're not calling it that but that's exactly what happened to our car on the way up or my sister's car It's a quieter day today, so there's um, been a whole rack of lorries got through this morning, apparently. And, um, yeah, we're vulnerable. I think when they brought in the dogs last night with the muzzles, that was so unsettling. So unsettling. Especially when they then took those vicious attack dogs and put them in the hands of incompetent um, security guards. That looks like Nick Danby, is that Nick? I know I'm not supposed to say names or it's a live stream ordinarily if it's activists, but these are local residents who are prominent and well-known and you'd be hard-pressed to pretend they weren't who they were. And, you know, the whole thing about activism and new citizen journalism and connectivity via social media and the instantaneous way that we update information with live real-time footage, it's a double-edged sword. You know, you win with the fact that you've got really good evidence because it's you know, there and present and now. But it does mean that sometimes you capture people and things who would maybe rather not be captured. Morning. I just said morning. <laughs> uh, that was funny. But I won't repeat what he said. So I'm walking down to meet Jonathan because I think he could probably do with an escort up. Small five foot women are really useful for that. Not much of an attack dog, but at least we know the road. Assuming that's them up ahead. So, um, are you going to just capture this on, like, you're not live anyway, so you're just going to capture this on film? Right. Last time we saw Jonathan, as I say, co-leader of the Green Party with Caroline Lucas, was when we were down at Buckingham Palace and Nana's and we held an overnight vigil in November and uh, he came down and gave us his support. Green Party's always been against fracking. Morning everyone, live streaming. 
live streaming. I thought I'd come down and be your watchdog and get you up Fantastic. the hill Fantastic. safely. Yes. Yeah, because oh, clearly I'm there to keep you safe. I bought Tom. He's taller. Hey, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I did, so I gather you bumped into my sister. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So you'll have got the, your, yeah. yeah. you'll have got the full full, full mood story. that she's in. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah she's. Do? Pretty, oh, you know. It's I guess it's just all you in the back of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> no, we had some polls for Anne. You know, the yeah, lifetime yeah. Green Party wanted to do a um, put up a big banner. So it was heavy for her. She's 85. So we were taking her up the hill, had three poles with it, and Anne. And then when they put us out, which was about here, then we had to, um, she had to walk up the hill. It's hot. You know, there's no, and they're like, oh, well, you can go in a minute. She's like, but I'll be late. You know, it was important to her. She had a batter in place for you, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just so annoying. It's like yesterday, when you consider what is a police role in society, police role in society is to maintain safety. So yesterday, despite the fact there's been no violence ever from anyone, yeah. On our side. Yesterday they brought in police dogs. I heard that. And yeah. then the security got vicious dogs with muzzles. So you now have vicious dogs with muzzles in the hands of incompetent, under-trained security guards. And this puts the fear of God into people. So now people won't come. And that's the whole aim. Everything is done to demonize, make you feel like you're being treated as a criminal and that you are in risk. And that's a dirty, dirty way to play the game. I just said to the police, though, that it must be so demoralizing to be a cop. And being used just to wrap yourself around trucks and to maintain someone's schedule, not maintain public and safety. I hear they're working really, really long shifts. Yeah, well. 15 hours. Yeah. So now we have agitated, angry cops yeah. who are hot. They're wearing too many clothes in this weather. In the winter, when we started January 5th, we've been here since then. Yeah. It's about 150 days of continuous activism. In the uh, January 5th, it was cold and they were standing there smug as could be in all their warm clothing or inside their little vans then the weather changed summer came they're all now like stuck in the tin cans getting angry and uh, coming out hot and temperamental and they are oh, you know there's a guy here in a wheelchair nick i saw him as we as we came past yeah, yeah now he's been local resident and he's only local resident yeah and he's never done this he's not done activism he was in the army um i think he became disabled in 2012 right and uh he came up out of a sense of need to protect his community. Yeah. And now he's just basically doesn't go home. He's here anything up to like three days on the trot. Yeah. So it's rough at the side of the road. So you can imagine what he puts himself through. And uh, police just target him. They actually target a guy in a wheelchair. You know, this morning they used pressure points on him. What? While he was in his chair? While he's in the chair. They said to him, move out of the way. Clearly he was trying to be disruptive. That's the role of an activist. So... He said, I'll move when you ask me nicely. Don't be so rude. Um, at which point, two cops grabbed the back of the chair, one in the front, and then applied pressure points to his wrists. I was there the other week when um, one of the police leaned down very, very hard on his thigh. Now, he doesn't have a lot of feeling in his legs. Yeah. So you can do the damage without him knowing it's being done. Yeah. No, my, my son has very little feeling in his legs. I know that you've got to be really, really careful. In fact, he broke his leg one time. Jesus. And, um, well, no. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just, I just find it astounding. I've, I've seen women pulled by their hair across the road. Women in the late 60s, early 70s. Now, how does that happen in England today? You know, it, it's just... I, I must say the word on live stream, astounded. More often than any other... Oh, maybe... Actually, maybe I say the F word a bit more, but... Are yeah. we live streaming on the moment? Yeah, did I not tell you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder if this is a video. We're actually live streaming. You're on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful not to swear. Yeah, no, no, really. The fact that we're not swearing is like making them really conscious, I expect. I try to keep calm because sometimes local radio can't afford to get staff down. So yeah. if I speak politely at the beginning of a live stream, yeah. they'll capture that and then use that in the broadcast, which is useful. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't get the coverage. Yeah, so I saw. Did say when I walked up live stream, but we Sorry, may have lost I was it in the melee. Kissing you. Yeah, that was good. No, no, I'm always happy to be kissed. That's, that's the happy thing. Wow, there's a lot of police there. Yeah, and we're having a smaller day. I don't know if you heard about yesterday. I heard yesterday was about beautiful. Or something. But older women dressed in white did a little silent vigil. We're repeating it in two weeks. Kind of appeal for, for calm. Yeah. Yeah. Because we just needed it to, to stop being yeah. so full of anger and anguish, you know. Yeah. Welcome to paradise. Yeah, yep, that's Anne. And Duncan. I think Duncan's looking after you Can after I this. Say hello to Pause, Anne. let's go. Yeah. We did have two towers built, one here 
and here. Uh, yeah. Well, and we section 60 encampments, yeah. which meant they were safe. And then they came and demolished yeah. and said it was unsafe. There was wow. no proper paperwork, yeah. nothing. No eviction date. <laughs> I'm going to stop recording for a minute and let you relax uh, you then. Think, oh, no, that's fine. No, you, you, go, you go. How are you doing? Fine. You must be exhausted. It's really quite no, warm as well. This is too hot for me. It's terrible. I'm yeah. back to the sun. I'm a scared of this. Yeah. I'm so angry with the police this morning. Even I've more angry than yeah. usual. But I've been lucky. I've been able to give an interview to <laughs> yeah. I didn't. I just bumped into Jonathan and unloaded onto him. <laughs> yes. yes. So were you, were you in the car? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you were bringing the, you were bringing this, and they, you had to walk all the way up from the town. No, we were just the top of the hill, the last yeah. bit. But we were all a bit confused, and I, I was yeah. struggling to get hold. So this of is the what man. you were bringing up. Yeah. yeah. So essentially, it's Jonathan's fault, really. I suppose it's when you think bad. about it, <laughs> yeah. it's your fault that we had poles. Normally, we dangle things on a fence. Yeah. On there. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually done as a hard stop. Really. This is Nina, independent journalist. Have to say why they're doing it. Apparently they thought they had a tripod in the car. Okay. As you do. And tripods are illegal. Good point. <laughs> tripods are, are 10 metres in a saloon car. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, because how could we have done that? But also, you're right. Would carrying a tripod have been an illegal act anyway? You know, I mean, yeah. what was wrong if we had had a tripod? A tripod with intent can, to... see the... <laughs> can I have a quick interview yeah, with you absolutely. about the question? At least it's Shona. Yes, I know. Uh, Just so you lot know, this is the co leader of the Green Party, and he's up today. This gentleman here? Yeah. What's his name? Jonathan Bartley. No, to chat and find out what's happening and to deal with the problems that we're having with policing, really. And so they can take that back to Westminster for us. Okay. Yeah. For today, I'm going to try and avoid catching the new security guards. The reason being, I spoke to them earlier and they had no idea they were coming into this situation. Both of them very nice chaps who said we were told we were going to, you know, something like an industrial estate. Um, they didn't know that it was here. They didn't know the subject. They're now going to look to leave their contract or get away from it because they can't. They're on the wrong side of history. They're going to be in constant live streams. They're going to be seen all over the place. And that isn't what they want for themselves or their families. So... I'm not sure why Jonathan's on the phone. He is. So I'm going to... There's no actions today that I can see. I don't know what we're planning, or obviously we don't. The way it works with the month of rolling action and any other one is that we just don't communicate with each other. We don't... Morning, love. OK. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you know. You see, here we were stopped on the way up. Yeah, I Six have cops surrounded the car, made yeah, a search. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like you just pointed out. Why, how could you think we had tripods yeah. in a saloon car? And yeah. also, why would you consider that illegal anyway? You've got no right to stop us on the basis... We might have a long pokey stick in a car. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I'm sure there are people all over the country who drive with long pokey sticks in cars. No, well, there's been some big long pokey sticks coming on flatbeds. Yeah. Which have been coming on here, which will cause a lot more harm yeah. to the people of this community and the people of this country than a few poles in the back of a van. Exactly. Don't, um, be, don't be. The thing is, don't be put off by the intimidation no, networks that's the of point. servants of the crown. I'm just having a conversation with a policeman who says, you know, some people get that wrong. They think that we're public <coughs> servants, like servants to the public. Mm. But really, they the said, actually, you got it right. We are servants to the crown. We're members of the public that serve the crown for money. Right. And uh, so it's really important that that we we impress upon on, on the whole situation. So it basically becomes ungovernable. Because I did, uh, I'm always saying on live stream, you know, their service is to protect the community. Well, but clearly it's not. Yeah. You, know, you see these new security guards coming in today. It's worth being cautious with them because we just spoke to two and they were like, we had no idea. We thought we were coming to an industrial estate and now all of a sudden we're being live streamed. They had no idea. And a lot of them, I think, are going to try and opt out because yeah, yeah. they don't want to be on the wrong side of history and the wrong side of the fence oh, when they didn't yeah. even know what they were coming into. And, and, and the thing is, I think there's there's a lot of um, there's a lot of stuff about the law. They think it's some kind of moral arbiter of yeah. justice. And the truth is, is 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 historically the law the law has allowed uh, women to be burnt at the stake. The law has allowed 
children to be hanged for stealing an apple. Yeah. The law has taken children away from, from uh, mothers because they were born out of wedlock and put into abusive care homes. The, the, the law has done so many harmful things yeah. that, that, that to use that as some kind of yeah. moral exemption to what's come to come to pass if this goes ahead is, uh, is, is complete madness. So basically history tells us you can't trust the law to be just or moral because at some point when you move further forward in time you will realize how unjust and immoral that was and have to revise it. Good well, it's, point. It's, 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 it's grown around the foundations of it, it's a land cartel protection racket and then that's grown through the industrial uh, revolution, that's grown into to corporations, yeah. to imperialism um, and, uh, and, and really they're a protectorate of the tax haven <coughs> class interest. That's why Google, Amazon can get away without, pay, without paying tax. That's why a lot of these companies, they're held in, in tax havens. Yeah. Um, and the actual companies that are registered in this country are held in negative equity. And they get drip-fed drip money, so when it becomes uneconomical, they'll just close up shop, regardless of what, what uh, harm's been left. And, that, and, that, and that's how it's working. That's the logic behind it all. That was so well explained. This is why you're my friend. <laughs> Let's get this charger on. So, just to bring you up to speed on what's happening today, not a lot other than a great deal of vehicle traffic has got through. Um, they're upsetting us by bringing in um, attack dogs, um, being handled by security who we don't consider to be in a position to be able to handle those dogs. Yesterday there was a police dog van. <clears throat> we feel like all of this is done to intimidate and provoke us. Again, on the journey up here this morning, we were treated by criminals, stopped and searched, six cops leapt out of a van, surrounded our car, very unsettling on a busy road, um, and forced us into then having to walk up the hill to make the appointment to put the banner up. So, um, but, but, but the, good, the good news is, is only you can stop it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. I'm gathering These that's that's the general broad view as yeah. opposed to me, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but the, the, the people, the people here who are paid to follow orders and to paid to stand here, ain't 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 going to ain't going to stop it. So it's really down to you and the, the communities to actually come out and stop it. And Since the start, happening. though, we've been stunned by the fact that we have. I mean, other than the Green Party. Yeah. We have no official body who has stood with us. Yeah. And, you know, and I, constantly I'm amazed when I look around and I see elderly women, disabled people, yeah. um, you know, all of these people standing to stop it. And you realize there's nothing else between the danger that this industry brings and the safety of our children and their futures. Absolutely. But us, yeah. that's just puts, that's puts pay to democracy and concern for public safety. Because yeah. you look at Grenfell. Yeah, Gold yeah. standard regulations, that failed all those people. Yeah, what do they yeah, think yeah. is going to be different here? And, and they, the, the thing is, is that they, 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 they lobbed it, they went to people, they went to yes. the authorities. They've been they, campaigning for years, haven't they? They've been they? campaigning for years on such, a, such a, an obvious yeah. thing. This is, this is a no-brainer. Yeah. You, you won't get into many, many arguments about whether this is a good thing or a bad thing to do because they can't win that argument. No. More, what they're trying to do is through intimidation and through just sheer police numbers. Do you remember, like, like a, a, um, you know, when the terrorist attacks happened, they were saying that, oh, the police numbers are low and, 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 and they can't cope with it. But look, uh, look here. Look, we get look, 80 look, a day. You look, look, we look get look 80 here, a day. Here. Yeah. But, but, again, but do you not think it's an insult to the them, crime. though? They're not servants of the public. But do you not think it's an insult to them, though? Because if I yeah. signed up to be a cop, to then be told, what is your job today? Your job is to get trucks into that site. <laughs> Nothing must stop those bloody trucks. And if anything tries to, you stop what's stopping the truck. But what's stopping the truck are citizens, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, protecting themselves. So how yeah, do you exactly manage that you. morally in your head? Okay, no. I, I, th I think tribalism, I think there's a bit of tribalism that goes on. I well, think, where uh, they reinforce each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, you know, obviously people are angry as well. Um, and and, and we should be angry if that's a motivating force, then come on down. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, um, this, isn't going to, this isn't going to stop itself. It is, it is happening. Um, but we're the last place, you know, in all of Europe, banned in Ireland, Scotland, Wales... And now the rest of Europe's abandoned it because it really can't be bothered. Yeah, and yeah. now we're the last thing. England, under Theresa May's Conservative government, who has just 
piss all over the cops, really, when you're honest about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. And is now the only per, only only co country in in Europe that's yeah. actively pursuing this industry. Yeah. What do we think? All those other governments knew that Theresa May and the Conservative Party are choosing to ignore. Well, well, it's, it's an expression of having some sensitivity or some care about what happens to the people of their country. Yeah, yeah. Um, they they recognise without the people of the country, there is no country. Yeah. You know what I mean? There is no... Uh... Yeah, it's like we should all just leave and let the, the cops, security and frackers have our country. Yeah. It's essentially... But, you know, all of this these last few days, in fact, the last... As, as it's escalated more and more the police uh, treatment of us yeah. and it has been getting worse and worse yeah. I mean in January it started off gentle it's just increased all the way through and I think that all of that is done to reduce our numbers oh, it's, yeah. it's not done even to protect the trucks it's no. done to make us think if you come you will be harmed yeah. you will be treated like a criminal and, and the thing is, is, that, is it, the thing is, is that you can't you just can't worry about that you just got to stay true stay true in the knowledge that you're doing everything you can to, to ensure that your children have cleaner air, water and soil yeah. to, to, to live off. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is a basic fundamental of survival. Yeah. Any, any system that doesn't put that at its highest priority, any system, any religion, any system that puts yeah. that as the highest priority is working against you. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, it's simple. It's a simple logic. Yeah. The scales of harm, this is going to be massive. The scales so, of harm. So... Come, come down. Don't worry. Because you could always people. find a safe place to stand. Yeah. I mean, like if you look across there, you can see where people are sitting. They're boiling a kettle. They're having a calm, quiet space over here. People sit in deck chairs and sun chairs, and they bear witness. Bearing witness is every bit as important as being here and uh, trying to slow down the vehicles. You know, because those people slowing down the vehicles would be more work, more manhandled if they didn't have a presence, you know. Yeah, we have anything up to five to six live streamers here at any one time, so we're constantly using new tools to try and keep ourselves safe, or at least gather the evidence that we can then bring um, these people to court, or at least bring them to justice in, in some way. We haven't really found much joy in that area yet either, though. You know, the courts aren't really working out for us, you know. But again, again, they're, they're crown servants. And, yeah. And, 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 and part, I think part of the overall expression that, 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 that we're trying to embody is something which actually isn't included within the current dominant culture. No, you're right. Uh, money's disappeared. There, there are expressions within it, National Health Service, there was uh, things for disabled people, yeah. you know, but more and more they're getting eroded away. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and this, is, this is an expression of of that. The change of culture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or, or, you know, like or in some ways it's like, but it was always there. I was going to just say, it was always there. It was just like the veils are less important to them now. The yeah. control is quite strong. Naked, so therefore, yeah. why do they need to bother? You know, why bother pretending this is about our safety? It is yeah. about an industry's progress and about an industry's profit. Our safety is not being factored into this at all. Well, exactly. M m millions of lives put at risk. So a few thousand people can make them money. And the people who are going to be making money, except for maybe the immediate landowners, <coughs> out of it, and these guys are going to be shareholders who don't even live in the country. No, I they said up even, till... They don't even have to experience the harm of, of, of what they're inflicting. And I think that's what, what's key to, a, a, say, a cultural revolution that needs to happen, is that, is that the decisions we make should be local, and then we have to live by those decisions also. Yeah. Um, at to, like at this moment in time, these guys, the Crown Servants, protect a massive multinational cartel, cartel that cause harm all over the world. Yeah. You know, env environments are getting destroyed all over the world. And, and these <coughs> people are profiting from it all the time. And that's how it's orchestrated. And that's, I think that's the bigger, the bigger thing, but immediate there, just calm down yeah. and stop this from happening. Thank you, Jack. So. It's a dedicated one, the protector at the roadside. Good man, gets here when he can. And that's the point, is you don't have to be here all the time. And there is nobody measuring your... Well, there are some people who do that, but it's totally unrequired. There is nobody measuring what your input, whether it's valid. You know, anything you give, anything you do is valid and valued here, um, certainly by the vast majority. You know, whether you can be here for half an hour, whether you can be here overnight, whatever it is you can bring. I came away from the Jonathan uh, Bartley uh, because I wanted him to get the chance to speak to people without a camera in his face. 
he's still got a crowd with him so I'll probably halt the live stream and then um, follow him about a little bit later so for anybody who's not aware Jonathan Bartley the co-leader of the Green Party is um, here today to find out for himself what it is that uh, we're going through uh, we'd like this to set a precedent you know Jonathan Bartley and Caroline Lucas have been heavily involved in the anti-fracking movement in their way for years I mean from when Caroline got arrested at Balkan to the support we received when we did our other protests, particularly the one at Buckingham Palace, where Jonathan came for that one, um, and just the work that's been done by the Green Party to raise this issue in Parliament. And we would now call on Jeremy Corbyn and the Liberal Democrats, um, because the Labour Party and the Liberal Democrats, despite supporting fracking for many years, finally have come over from the dark side and now decided it's a wrong thing, or at least they did just before the election. So we'd now like to see their party leaders here as well, showing their support, because we need this. We need some more official support. It's all well and good that people in the community rise up, but what we really need is we need Westminster to be dealing with this issue. Now, we know Caroline's doing her best to raise this whenever she can in Westminster, but, you know, the Labour Party said if they won the election, they would stop fracking. Well, they didn't win it, but they're in opposition and we'd like to see that opposition being used powerfully. And again, we're in the middle of the Brexit thing, so that's seizing all the air and we know they're busy with that. But, you know, help, help. I'm going to stop this live stream for now and I'll come back later on with more from uh, the Green Party visit today.